How'd you guys do? Did you have fun? Did you have fun with the tug of war? I hope you did. So what does tug of war have to do with our Bible story? If you have no idea what I'm even talking about with tug of war, check out our Kids on the Rock video, which is over to, I don't know, the side below if you're in Facebook. And um, watch that, watch our Bible story, and then check out the activity, do it as a family, and then come back here. So if you have done it, Congratulations, you made it this far. <laughs> what does tug of war have to do with our story, though? What? Here's a question that I have to you. You ready? Why was it hard to resist getting pulled over across the line? Was it hard to get to get to resist getting pulled over the line? Meaning, if you were over here and getting pulled, was it hard to not get to not cross that line? I'm really weak. So for me, it would be very hard. I would want to just give in and go. Say, you'll win. <laughs> but that's not the point of the game. You wanna win, right? So it can be really hard in life not to get pulled towards a decision that isn't wise, right? If somebody tells us to do something but we know we're not supposed to do it, just like in our story, Daniel was told to eat the meats or else somebody was going to get hurt, but he knew he wasn't supposed to eat the meats. It's hard to make those decisions and to know what to do or how to make the wise decision. But we can lean on God in those situations, which some of you might have ended up leaning on each other at the end of tug of war. Let me know in the comments how that worked out. I want to know. I want to see pictures of tug of war, whatever you've got. Send it my way, though you already did it, so maybe you don't have pictures, but then do it again and send me pictures. Um, we get pulled in a lot of directions sometimes when we're trying to make the wise choice. And even as we try our best, we all make mistakes in our choices. It just happens sometimes. But God is there and he's the wisest one I know, which means if I need advice or I don't know what to do, I can always go to God and he'll help me out in the situation and he will give me some good, wise advice. You guys can do the exact same thing in any situation. All right, I have one more bonus activity for you. I'm not going to give it to you, but I wanna show it to you. We're talking a lot about choices and balancing things, right? Making the wise choice versus being what you're, what you're told to do. Maybe that's not always the wise choice. So a cool activity that we have is making a scale. So I'm going to show you a picture that we have. They used some popsicle sticks and some yarn and some Dixie cups. And you can put on your finger and put different things and see which one weighs more. I thought this was a fun activity, but I know that not everybody has these resources. So I wanted to give it as a bonus activity. If you would like more information on this activity, just put it in the comments or email me, Miss Danielle, and I will get you more information about that. But it's a cool activity to do with this, um, with this Bible story. So that is the end. We will come back with answer day part two next week. That's right. We're going to finish answering those questions. And remember, you can always send me questions, send them through my email. You can tag us at an Instagram at Ingemar Kids, um, on Facebook as well. Send me questions if you ever have questions because I love answering questions. You know I do. All right. This Saturday, another announcement. So next Wednesday, is answer day part two which we had two parts to our part one of answer day so confusing so maybe i should say part three of answer day is coming next wednesday at this time and this saturday for our family night we'll have prime time at six elevate at 6 45 just like we did last week and instead of pajamas this week's theme for family night is going to be costumes so wear your costumes for family night I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye.